Hello and welcome back to another episode of Divinity Original Sins 2, the definitive edition. We are playing Honor Mode Plus, where we are be feeding the game, or at least act number one of it, on the highest difficulty, but we're also upgrading each enemy to our level plus two. We're at the moment level 10, made our way all the way up here to Bracus Armory, which is the next logical place to go before we go into his palace. And there is going to be quite a bit of interesting encounters, uh, two to be precise. Uh, let's take a look if we can manage to do both in one episode. Easy peasy. Start to sneak up. We can see this here is going to be against four of them. I usually like to take the high ground up here around the tree to make it easier for us and then afterwards kind of climb up here and take another stand against uh, the enemies up here. Good. Before we do that uh, though, let us start summoning. Oops, that's the wrong. We want to have an incarnate. Let's get Losa up here. Well, even better, if they still discuss. That's to our advantage. I would say Losa starts to resummon. Oh, I remember in the very early version of the game, everyone was was hostile. In our days, they are not, which means we theoretically can bypass. If you're trying to save your friend here, you're a bigger fool than he is. No, we can't. Never mind. They are still hostile. As you may tell. I haven't included this one here in my preparation, so I'm kind of playing from memory. We're still positioning ourselves up here. In this case, very much up here. Same for Saiken, who is simply going to position himself up here. Good. So, so let's finally resummon one last time. While Saiken is getting into position. Freaking incarnate, please move here. Thank you. And let's attack them. Thanks. Good. So.
Good, everyone's in combat now. Bose is the first one to make a move. I would propose, since everyone's so nicely clustered up, Since everyone's so nicely clustered up, we should definitely try to get them in, uh, together here. Let's make everyone wet. And cluster these guys. All right. So far so good. I think they still have a lot of physical resistance, so that's going to be an issue for us. Healing up all the way. And let's get some magical, um, some magical armor. So I'm pretty sure that the Incarnate will suffer. Yep. But it's reasonably strong since summoning is now also relatively high. Ifan definitely needs to change his position. As for us up here, Saiken so can start to reduce the physical armor. Nicely summon a bone. Uh, spider up there and maybe we're using ah uh, we can't reach we can't reach Ifan. We can do that next turn living on the edge is super helpful for him. In the meantime get the Magister Ranger. Okay, let's deal as much physical damage as we can. Good, that's a clear shot. And since he can't move, we might as well just pin him down. Yeah, nice, we crippled him. That severely limits his opportunities. The incarnate is almost down. Let me correct that, the incarnate is down. But we can resummon it here. And you know what? 
let's take her and simply put her over here. Yeah, let's not sacrifice the incarnate yet. We're going to use it next turn. For now, positioning it up here is fine. So, since we haven't taken away all of the armor yet, I am going to be... Oh, wait a second. We do have... Ah, we don't need to be careful because we do have living on the edge. The only person... has only one enemy who's going to act before Saiken. You know what? We can use living, uh, um, living on the edge next turn. Might as well move out of line of sight for now and do something useful. Just regaining our armor. Very good. Okay. Good, this here in itself deals a lot of damage and clusters them up nicely. Now, none of them are wet. And they still have plenty of magical resistances. Um, but there is a chance that they are going to... Let's optimize uh, that. First we're going to use Elemental Affinity because I want to use a couple of Hydro skills next turn. I'm not using Flash Sacrifice A because it would create blood, but B, I also don't want to lose my shield. Not at the moment. It's not worth it's not worth it at the moment. Everyone's shield, so they are a little bit slower. That was a pretty decent knockdown. Good. Let's get rid of their magical armor, shall we? Which For us, could be as easy as taking nice shots with our poison arrows. So, poison arrow, poison arrow that uh, caused fire. And since it deals more damage, might as well use this here and hey, Saiken. Uh, 
So the Magister Knight has no more magical resistances and I'm just going to use the opportunity to charm him. Which means he's going to move into their direction and is currently considered an enemy. Also, wow, nice little almost 300 critical hit. Holy moly. All right, Ifan takes a round to heal himself up. Simply this, and this, and this. Of course, they can still reach him, fuckers. Throws the ground. One, two, and three. Almost done with all of their magical armor. Okay, somehow they are being blocked. This will probably take care of it. Yeah, very much so. Good. Both of them have finally lost their magical resistances. And on top of it, they're going to be hit for almost 300. Beautiful. Lovely. All right, this and A little bit of that. So Ifan is safe. And unless the Rangers come up with a really good idea, they're pretty much going to be busted. Still can reach Ifan. But since they don't have any more armor, Ifan can also reach them. Crippling one of them. Hitting the other one 
that's pretty much it. Alright, landing down here. Knockdown, unfortunately we couldn't kill this guy. By the way, uh, the Magister Knight here definitely needs to take a sleep pill. And those guys might or might not have just joined the combat. What I can see is that he's no longer immune to teleport, which is unfortunate for him, so we're going to teleport him. Since I can't hit another target, we might as well delay. A bit concerned about Gareth because Gareth is level 7 and he has not been leveled. It's normally difficult to keep him alive, but well, not that difficult if you're fast enough. But Gareth had, has the tendency to bite a little bit more, uh, bite off a little bit more than he can chew. And against four level 12 enemies, I could see him going down here, quite honestly. Yep, he's most likely going to go down. Okay, so since I can't really do anything else... Might as well continue to haste myself. Path is interrupted, yeah, so we gotta take him. Okay, we just, we're going over here to find a good partner for you to exchange. How about we take this totem? Oh, what a beautiful idea. Wait, what? You're next to your friends taking damage? Well, that's of course very unfortunate. Critical hit for almost 300. That sucks.
Solid hit. Hit. Can't heal him. Might as well burn everyone. And we've just killed the first guy. Yeah, we even with adrenaline we couldn't kill her, so might as well let it be. Fortunately missed. What we can do though is steal the bow and hmm. Might as well just move a bit further away. Yeah, we just we just lost Gareth back there. That's a shame. But good news, we almost killed the four guards down here, leaving only four further guards that just seem to decide to come out and play. Okay, this guy here is a tank, so no point in just trying to get him down. We can leave him for the time being. We need to focus on the rangers. And of course, on making sure that Ifan is going to survive. So these guys haven't yet arrived, but Let's get into position in case uh, they will. Moving over here. Oh, nice. We could already start greeting them. Perfect.
Okay, so both of the rangers here should be our main target. Plus this Magister Ranger here, who's now getting back, uh, getting healed to somewhat semi-full. One shot, two shots, and three shots. Not even enough, thanks to the uh, thanks to the rather strong fortify. Trying to soften up the Magister Swordsman because we're going to kill the Ranger with physical damage. A few more totems might do the trick. Everyone becomes wet. Ranger tries to stay alive and we can't deal enough damage with just our uh, Moan Ranger. We could chicken him, but that's probably a waste. I much rather like to get a bit more distance so that Ifan is not going to be the next target. We can teleport that ranger down there. Wow, pretty solid hit. Good, teleportation down there successful. We'll also get some healing. And let's put a spider down here. Good. That's just another body to make sure that we're going to be fine. Gotta deal with the rangers first. We, that here should clear knockdown, yep. If we were to jump, uh, hmm, I really want to clear the knockdown so that he can act, but we also need to deal damage to the Magister Ranger.
And just the ranger has priority. So let's kill him first. One shot. Two shots, got the execution. Hasting ourselves. Moving in. Healing Ethan. Either healing ourselves or doing a teleportation. I think we're going to heal ourselves. Yeah, okay. Good positioning for her. So next up is probably this ranger here again. Although we have magical damage. And yeah, so probably rather the swordsman, to be honest. There we go, magical damage. Took all his armor away. Wow, the Inquisitor has a thousand magical armor. That's a lot. I want to use the charge yet. Now we're just going to stand here and that's about it. Okay, magical armor gone. Be nice to control him. But we're too far away. Let's invest the action points once to move up here. Just a better side overall. All right, this way we can reach both here. Now, in terms of switching, can't fully reach him. We could. We could have reached him, but that's fine. We, we didn't need to switch. Good. Swordsman is going to wait for one turn. We got some wings and we will get some armor back. So we can certainly cast down here, they are clustering up. Did he just use a nail bomb to get his friend out of sleep? That would be pretty impressive if we, he would have done that. Alright, physical armor reduction against the ranger here.
I think since they are ch uh, going to target Saiken, might as well make ourselves resist death for now. Wow, Ifan is almost dead. I'm second. I'm second guessing whether or not we should have given him the re, uh, the resist uh, death. Swordsman here seems to be only the only troop that we can reach. Uh, also, the swordsman here, who's almost he's down with his uh, magics. So if we were to use this guy and throw him over here, that wouldn't be good. But what would be good is we could use uh, this guy, throw him over here. There you go. Both rather weak against magic. Good. Gotta focus to get targets down. Stranger here is certainly the main focus because he deals a lot of damage. But we also gotta help Ethan. Just trying to understand how we're doing that. So that works, having all of them combined at the same place. Certainly makes it easier. How long is the incarnate going to last? Hmm. We don't have fortify yet. see myself actually charming someone that wouldn't be a bad idea this magister swordsman is pretty damn juicy as a target maybe we're doing this next turn gotta make sure that Ivan is going to survive you know what let's summon a totem that's always a pretty solid idea. Con continuous damage, comet presence on that battlefield, lots of positives. So much for Ifan. And they are aiming for us now, great. Great.
This here should stun one of them. Yep. Very nice. So, this Magister Ranger here is almost prepped. He has no more physical armor. This one here certainly is not prepped yet. Good. We're taking uh, or we're letting them take a lot of uh, damage. His magical armor is down as well. I want to prep him for magical crowd control. making ourselves invisible so we're not a good target for them. Trying to re remove as much magical damage now as well, so that Saiken can operate and keep them essentially con uh, constrained here. If they will stand in an area, we should be fine. Good, time for us to heal. And heal, and probably shield up. We already broken someone's. Yeah, the swordsman here has no more magical armor. Let's make sure they still are close to one another. That way, with uh, Saiken, we can start reasonably well. We're still standing on blood here. Can't hit them. Could we hit them? Yep, that would hit them. Whew. We need to get them under control.
Saiken must also realize that his um, that his beyond the grave or living on the edge is gone so he needs to rebuff himself ranger is knocked down uh, swordsman is almost down we can deal with that ranger here Next turn, of course, I want to make sure that we have full action points. In the meantime, do we have a nice grenade? Anything that would help. We have a lot of alchemy, alchemic items, but we have a very limited amount of grenades. Firestorm grenade has a problem with pathing. In which case, let's just end the turn for him. He will have six ability points next turn. Our infinite is doing reasonably well. Damn, this Magister Swordsman just got 400 hit points back. Depressing. Good, frozen. That's exactly what we needed. Now... Hmm. Don't want to go through his physical armor, to be honest. It's 900, 1100 physical armor for those guys, 1300 for him even. This here makes him wet. And this here should take away some of his armor. All right. Good. So I think we need to resummon our incarnate. And I've decided it's going to be a lightning one. Electric infusion. There we go. Far side power infusion. Which means this here to hit him. And this here to shock him. It's gonna work well.
Can't get another ability point for now. Let's just deal damage, heal ourselves, and try to haste ourselves for next round. Good. So we could physically control him, magically control him, and magically control her. Time for our crowd controller to enter the stage again. Moving in. One time knockdown. We could, uh, could either take him out or take her out. Taking the ranger via uh, out via sleeping. I think it's a good idea. And let's upgrade our physical armor. Okay, so far so good. I think we're doing overall well. We've stabilized the situation again. Time to remove all of the physical armor so we can control both of the um, damage dealers from the enemy. Very nice, that worked out well. Now, need to make sure that Ifan is fine. And to be honest, we need to make sure that we are fine as well. Highest priority. Good. No magical armor, no magical armor, no magical armor. That's exactly what we would want to see. Damn, I wanted to stand in water, but yet be able to see them. Uh. Got back into, into, into blood. I wanted to really stand in water, that's unfortunate. Anyways. This here should make them bleed. Very nice. Worked like a charm. Nice little physical infection. And whilst we're on it, might as well summon the spider. Good. Now, we are controlling those two. Knock down. Worked like a charm. And we're removing even more armor. 
Nice. Please cluster up. That's a really, really solid decision. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was a pretty decent um, shot. Very nice. Um, Saiken is still hasted, otherwise I would give him haste. We don't need to heal anyone. Might as well take another shot. Let's kill the ranger. Executed it. Oh, we executed it, and look at that. This here was Corpse Explosion. That's why Ifan almost from 100 to, uh, goes from 100 to 0. That was 500 damage right there. Need to continue healing him, otherwise he's probably going to die. All right, we can charm one of these guys. That's exactly what I would want to do. Charm him. And nether swap the two might not look like much of a difference, but now every four, uh, every one of them, like all four of them, are standing in the center, which makes this here much more simple. I want to use this instead. There we go. Shocked, shocked, stunned. Trying to get rid of more armor from the Inquisitor. Okay. Ifan gets more armor. And we need to set her down there. Plus buff everyone. Okay, let's continue with getting more ability points. And... Let's try our best to just 
freeze these guys. Yeah, there we go. So I can haste himself. We still haven't figured out uh, for him to stand on water. That's the only thing. It Somehow the rain was on cooldown for like ages. Good, how do we deal with them? Hmm. We still have way too much armor left. 400, 600. Yeah, mag magically, we could get them down. To somewhat get the magister down here. Okay, so, Magister. Let's put the Magister over there. She starts becoming annoying, and I don't want to deal with her. It's one shot, and that's another one. Perfect. Soon we were being able to um, to nether swap again, which will allow us to deal with this guy here. I'm creating rain, so we are finally having the right um, underground. Yeah, they are so high level that their shield uh, shield up ability plus their skills almost makes all the difference. At least uh, it somewhat feels like this. Good, we got one Ma Magister Swordsman, whom we successfully put to sleep. In the meantime, let's heal up and make sure that Ifan can crowd control. See, that's the thing, it's so inattractive to attack either of these guys, I don't even know where to start. Feels I dealt like one bazillion damage to them and they're still standing. Let's get water arrows just to deal some magical damage. Wait, we had a path. Whatever.
All right, totem. And let's attack this guy. Good, so that'll take away his action. <sighs> Let's... Shall we kill this one? Yeah. Good, we're down to two enemies. It kind of goes in the right direction. Good. We're going to teleport her over very soon. Yep, perfect. Okay. Let's trade her with the totem. There we go. Also. Let us summon in Incarnate. Physically buff it up. And make sure we're dealing damage to everyone. So, Swordsman. The Inquisitor, I'm sorry, needs to die next, and then afterwards we're going for the Swordsman. Swordsman just had made himself immune to teleport, which is a clever idea. Oh, how much? Wow, 1000 physical armor. We're just going to endure the pain. I really don't know what else to do. Magister's uh, Inquisitor is going to be knocked down. And we're going to focus on her. One, two, three. Just magical damage. This guy here is going to be shocked and blinded. Which is beautiful. I can use all of my spells that I have limited range because. Many of the uh, Aerothology spells have a very limited range, so if they finally make it into uh, melee combat... Of course, despite the blind, he hits a crit. That's how it's done, baby. Flying over here. And you know what? Chicken time. <laughs> All right. One, two, and three.
Hey, look at that. Nice little shocking touch. How about that? See? And after only 1 hour and 16 minutes, we are through an intense battle against 8 level 12 enemies whilst we, are, whilst we have been level 10 during the entirety of the fight. Well, that is it. We couldn't save Gareth. I think on this difficulty it is impossible, but you've seen just generally how you can have kind of a solid play and how all of uh, the builds are starting to play out. Um, next up, once we're done here, we're going to get our colors removed. And then we're moving to the Labyrinth, which uh, should have two more interesting fights before we're almost um, nearing the end of Act 1, guys. Uh, it has been a pleasure so far. So let's keep it up. A few more battles and then this uh, series concludes. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.